Hello everyone, this is Anuj from Gadget Geek. Today we have with us the newly launched OnePlus phone and it's the OnePlus 7T. And in this video, we will do the unboxing and show you the hands-on review of this phone. So finally we have the phone with us, so let's do the unboxing quickly. So here is the OnePlus 7T and the box style is minimalistic with the necessary information. And here at the back we can see that it's the Glacier Blue with the 8GB RAM and 256GB storage. So let's open the box and see the content now. So on the top we get this envelope and inside it we get this invitation letter from the OnePlus CEO Pete Lau. Then we get the OnePlus stickers and also some other documentations and here is a user guide of this phone. And then here we have the phone itself. One thing I must say here that the packaging of this phone is really good and it does feel that you're unboxing a premium phone. We will look at the phone in a moment, let's see what else we have here. So below the phone we get this case which is transparent and here is how it looks. And then we get this image action pen and then we have the new Warpchar 30T adapter with the Type-C cable. And about this charger, OnePlus said that this charger is quicker than the Warpchar 30. And in terms of output rating, it's 5W 6A which is 30 watts. So that's all we have in the box, now let's look at the phone closely. OnePlus 70 looks a lot like its predecessor from the front, but looking at the rear, it's all new. And here we get this huge circular camera design in this phone. The three lenses are in the horizontal row and we have the flash below it. The bump of the camera also stick out a bit and to be honest, it's a lot different than what we have usually seen in the OnePlus phones and it will take some time for us to get used to it. In terms of front of the phone, we have the 20 to 9 aspect ratio, full HD plus 6.55 inch screen with the 90Hz refresh rate and the HDR10 plus. And you also get the Corning Gorilla glass protection. Talking more about the HDR10 plus, I wasn't able to test it at the moment, which I will show you why later in this video. On the top of the phone, we have the earpiece and the notch which has a 16 megapixel front camera. On the left of the phone we have the volume rocker and on the right side we have the slider button to silent the phone and also the power button. At the bottom of the phone we have the SIM tray and it's a dual nano SIM tray. And then you have the Type-C charging port along with the speaker. And this speaker works with the earpiece to deliver you the stereo output. Looking at the back of the phone, so first we have this all new combination of metal and frosted glass back which actually give this phone a premium look and feel. Comparing it side by side with the OnePlus 7 Pro, we can clearly see the difference. And in my opinion, I find the grip better as compared to the OnePlus 7 Pro. But again, the rear of the phone does get smudged with the fingerprints. The biggest change as we have discussed earlier is the camera of this phone. You have a triple camera setup at the back. And here the primary lens is 48 megapixel with an aperture of f1.6 and it's the Sony IMX586 sensor. The second camera has the 117 degrees wide angle lens and has the resolution of 16 megapixel. The third camera offers 2x telephoto lens for optical zoom and has an aperture of f2.2. So now let's turn on the phone for the first time. Meanwhile it's turning on, let me show you some other details which we haven't discussed till now. So talking about the processor, we get the latest Snapdragon 855 Plus. The phone is available with the 8GB RAM and the storage option is 128GB and 256GB and the storage is UFS 3.0. The battery on this phone is a 3800mAh which is a slight increase as compared to the OnePlus 7. But in this phone, we get the Warp Charge 30T which can charge your phone from 0-70% to in just 30 minutes. So here we are on the home screen. The 90Hz screen feels really good and like the OnePlus 7 Pro, it's quite good. One thing is worth mentioning that I really like the OnePlus Oxygen OS. You get the stock experience with all the additional features. And this is where OnePlus is really doing a good job. After the first boot, 29GB was used out of 256GB. And about the OS, the phone comes with the Android 10 out of the box. And there was also a new update which I will do it later on. Now let me quickly show you the camera performance. So these are some pictures I have taken in different lighting condition. And my first impression is that the camera performance is good but I noticed some time that the colors are a bit oversaturated and it has more contrast. But usually what we have seen, people like this type of output more than the natural colors and tones. Here are some pictures which we have taken with the wide angle lens. You can also click macro photos with the super macro mode on and the output is really good provided there is enough light source.
and then here are few front camera sample and guys this is just an overview of this phone i'll be using this phone as my daily driver for few days and then i will post a detailed camera review of this phone so stay tuned for that now moving towards the performance i have done the benchmark test on this phone and here is the on to do score and here is a geekbench score the benchmark scores are pretty good which is expected from this hardware configuration now moving towards the gaming we have played pubg on it and here are the graphics settings on this phone the performance is pretty good and with the features like gaming mode and fanatic mode you get amazing gaming experience this phone also support haptic feedback while gaming i have played pubg mobile and call of duty on this phone and even after playing continuously for half an hour i didn't notice any heating issues the screen performance is also good and the 90 hz screen refresh rate feels pretty smooth the screen also has the hdr 10 plus support which i wanted to try on this but when we open netflix it wasn't allow us to update the app and was showing error while updating i'm not sure if that is already fixed with the update which is available on this phone so stay tuned to us to know more about the hdr 10 plus performance in our full review of this phone So overall OnePlus 70 is a big upgrade from the OnePlus 7. You get better screen with the 90 Hz refresh rate and the 855 plus processor. The triple camera setup we have on this phone looks promising and the performance is definitely improved. But again, the camera bump at the back is not something I'm fan of. Nonetheless, the phone performs pretty good and the overall this phone offers flagship features and also it's the first phone in India with the 855 plus processor and the Android 10. In terms of pricing, The 128 GB variant is available in 37,999, and in 2,000 rupees more, you will get the 256 GB variant, which I definitely recommend if you're planning to purchase this phone. So, guys, that's all for now in this video. Hope you like it, and also do tell us what you like about this phone in the comment section below. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel Gadget Geek for more videos like this. Once again, this is Anuj signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.